I've always tried to make a human connection. That's my responsibility, I think. I shake hands. I hug people. I, I grab men and women by the shoulders and say, you can do this. And, and, uh, and whether they're women, men, young, old, it's, it's the way I've always been. There's Joe Biden. You may have seen him by now responding to growing allegations of inappropriate contact with women. The former VP expected to run for, the, for president, saying that he will be more mindful about respecting personal space in the future, but not directly apologizing. Uh, former DNC chair, Fox News contributor down in Brazil with us now. How you doing? And good morning to you. Uh, good, you well, good morning. Well in, good morning, Bill. Well ensconced in the swamp, I see there. Uh, what, what, what did you think when you heard and saw Joe Biden's two-minute explanation yesterday? Well, Bill, let me just say this. I've known Joe Biden for over 30 years. He has never been inappropriate with me. Uh, I think he's an honorable and decent human being who said yesterday in that video that he owns his, his uh, mistakes. He takes responsibility. He will change the way he interacts with people, uh, with constituents, with people who love him as well. Look, Joe Biden is someone who has comforted me on many occasions, whether it was the death of my mom, the death of my dad, of course, Hurricane Katrina. Uh, I understand uh, who Joe Biden is, but I also respect the fact that women are speaking up now. They are telling their truth, and they're saying to men, not just Joe Biden, they're saying this to men from everywhere because, you know, this is that moment. We're saying, hey, back off. Why don't you respect us, have some space, and we can continue to have this wonderful okay, conversation. Okay, a couple of things here. You have three more make accusations overnight. I, I don't know. Are there three more over the next 24 hours? We don't know. I don't know how you react to that. I don't know how you react to some Democrats who are quoted as saying he will not directly apologize. Your take. Well, this is not about the, just the volume of people who are saying that I was touched on my shoulder behind my back and perhaps somewhere else. I, I respect the fact that these women are coming forward. After all, that is what we must do. Sexual harassment uh, and sexual assault are, are, are grave issues, and no one is a, al, uh, uh, making allegations of that nature. As you know, those allegations were made against the president of the United States. What I'm saying as a woman and somebody who cares deeply about our society, care deeply about how people are treated, is that Joe Biden is doing what we want men to do as well as any other human being, which is to respect respect women, respect human beings, period. Uh, and I, Donna, I, I do don't believe, believe that this is disqualifying. Do, do you believe he's running? I don't know. I have not personally talked to Joe Biden. I know Joe Biden. I'm trying not to get into that space where I'm uh, advising candidates, although I've met with several of them because I, I'm a Democrat. I run into everyone. Look, Joe Biden has a resume. He has a proven record. He has the, some of the best experiences, uh, not just as a United States senator, but the vice president of the United States. He has every opportunity to think this through. And by the way, I'm going to just say mm. it because I, yeah. I want to be just a little controversial. If Hillary Clinton wakes up tomorrow morning and decides that, hey, you know what, I might want to give this another try, go for it. If Al Gore, go for it. John Kerry, go for it. Go for it because this is the United States of America. All and right. everyone so, deserves their uh, opportunity to run if they right. uh, so What's, decide. We what, will choose, what, by the way, the voters so, will decide. What's so controversial about that? I just, I don't know, because people don't want you to tell your truth anymore. Ah, so I think it's important. Bill, are you interested in running? Because you never know. I might get off the sidelines. Not at the moment, but if I do, I'll call okay. you. A couple of things. You, you said you, um, you've met with a number of these candidates. Have you met with I Beto O'Rourke? No, I have not. And, but, the the but reason his, I asked is because he's raising money, $9.4 million reported for the first 18 days, about half and a And he just hired one of my friends. He just hired one of my friends to be his campaign manager. And I'm always happy when women are in position of leadership. So I don't know him very well. Uh, I've talked to people on Capitol Hill who know him a little bit better. But I'm not surprised that he's able to uh, dip into that well of support that he received running for the United States Senate against Ted Cruz last year. He's going to have a terrific terrific run uh, in a Democratic primary. But will he come up with enough delegates to win? We don't know. Okay, last question. Do you know Tim Ryan, the, the Democrat from Ohio? Yes, I he do. He announced just about an hour earlier today. How big is this <laughs> field going to get?
You know, Bill, I'm old enough to remember, I think, about 18 or 19 candidates in 1992. Uh, I, I, I was very excited about the number of candidates in 2008. I'm not, I'm not afraid of a large number of candidates because, you know, after all, the voters in Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, and Nevada will get the first uh, try at, you know, looking under the hood and kicking the tire. The bottom line is it's not the number that matters. It's the quality of candidates, and we have great candidates who are running. Bill, can I make one last statement? Yep. Because this is... As you know, this is the 51st anniversary of the assassination of Martin Luther King. I wouldn't be here, many of my generation had Dr. King and many of the leaders of his time fought for civil rights and inclusion and respect for all people. So I just want to just give a shout out no. to the amazing man that Dr. King was because he inspired me uh, to get involved in politics. And I just wish he was still around to see all of the wonderful work and the progress that we've made and the work that we must continue to do. All right. Amen to that. Nice to see you. I think you're God enjoying your you. time here, and I told you you were. I am. Down to Brazil. Hey, I'm a silver fox, baby. Well, see, I'm a silver <laughs> fox, okay? We'll see you soon. Down to Brazil, right. thank you.